Around 90 students and staff in Central Saint Martin's MA Graphic Communication Design, speaking around 30 languages. We all share an interest in common, and this impacts how we talk about the course and subject in the first place. Graphic Communication Design. In China, we call it Ping Mian Shi Ji. It's called Graphic and Communication Design. In German, in French, it's Design Graphic and Communication Visual. To translate Graphic Communication Design to Italian, Progetto Grafico e Comunicazione Visiva. In Greek, it's Schiaviasmos Graphicis Epikinomias. And my classmate from India said in Tamil, it's Todarbiel Vadiva Maipu. It could be translated to two different words in Dutch. Ontwerper and vormgeven. In both Chinese and German, the name used for the field point back to early development of graphic design in context of printing. The Chinese character ping means flat. Mian means surface. So together, ping mian shi ji means to design on two-dimensional flat surface, which is also what most German speaker would associate with Meaning things like the design of posters, posters packaging, typography, illustrations, books, and logos. Whereas in Tamil, graphic, graphic does not have a translation in Tamil. The closest translation means painting. painting. Then how to distinguish painting, which is fine art, and graphic design? In, in conversation, they simply use the English word. Things get really weird when it comes to Greek translation. It can mean means graphic or picturesque, but it can also describe an eccentric or quirky person with a slightly negative connotation. How about Dutch? One is vormgeven, literally it would mean like shape making, and the other one is ontwerper. It kind of means the opposite of throwing. Like catching. But not catching, it's like undoing a throw. <laughs> On throwing. So, what's the difference between these two? Like, uh, if there's a river and you want to cross the river, Antwerpen would decide that you need to be a bridge instead of a tunnel. Formgeber, the shape maker, would decide what the bridge would look like. <sighs> With all these definitions, the bridge, the perky person, the flat surface, and there's more. Doesn't this get confusing when you're trying to work together as a group of students and stuff? What I like about these different inflections of the, the term, term graphic communication design is that it really starts opening up the possibilities for the discipline when it's continually being redefined by our multilingual, multilingual global, global communities, communities here. The communities of graphic, graphic communication, communication design. design.